Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing Primark lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks to be specific. I recently went to Primark and they have like so many different like shades and formulas and like different bottles. So I got these three for you guys today. Uh, one's a matte liquid lipstick. This one is a full colour satin finish vitamin E liquid lipstick. I'm not sure if it's gonna wanna focus or not. Focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Um, and these two are one's a purpley kind of colour, if you can see by this one. And this one's more of a pinky kind of colour. If you can see them side by side. Uh, they are called the PS Super Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't think it's going to want to focus. No. Um, and I got these because I quite like the shades. I think that these two that I have here, they're the exact same kind of shade if I can show you. But this one's satin and this one claims to be ultra long lasting, no transfer film and contains vitamin E. Whilst this one just says full colour, satin finish, vitamin E. And I was kind of intrigued to see if I can use both of these and to see if they actually are the same colour. Because in the bottle they almost look like the same colour. Um... And the reason why I decided to do this video is because when you go into Primark, it can be really overwhelming um, because there's so much lipsticks there and it's like, well, I don't know which one's good, which one's not. So I'm hoping that this video today will help. So let's get right into it. Okay, as you can see, I've already done my base, uh, my eyebrows, and I put a bit of mascara on and all of that other good stuff. And I exfoliated my lips and let's just get into trying this okay so the way I think I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna show you the color and the shade and then I'm going to begin to apply it fast forward it and let you know my thoughts at the end uh, once everything has been applied and dried Okay, so I'm going to start off with the PS Super Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 01 Kim. If you guys want to see if it wants to focus in the shade. Oh, that way's right. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, I don't think it's going to focus. And it claims to be high pigment colour and matte finish doesn't claim to have any hydrating benefits or anything like that. So let's go ahead and apply it. So the lipstick has been applied. It's a very pink nudey colour. I'm not sure that it suits my skin tone. But I can say that it is super pigmented. Because literally just one swipe and it was done. I only needed to go into the bottle twice. Once for my bottom lip, once for my top lip. Which means that a little bit goes a long way. Uh, which is honestly perfect. But... If I get my mirror, let me show you, if I can show you. It, it is not very smooth. If I can zoom in, let me show you. Don't know if you can see, but it's very rough. And I think it's from when I went, yeah, definitely. Because it's just breaking apart. Let me. I don't know if you guys can see uh, on my inner lip there. It feels extremely drying, extremely drying. Um, I don't know. 
toy is just breaking apart and it doesn't look very smooth it literally just looks quite uh chunky i don't know if that came across on camera or not but i mean i touch it and you guys can see that almost nothing came out but it's just very drying and it's like breaking apart like it's very almost cakey i don't know the color is very pretty i've got to say that and it's very pigmented and it went on really nicely it's just when it begins to dry it's just mm. I don't know, I think I'm going to have to give this another test run, but for future references, it's in this packaging. Uh, it could just be this colour. Uh, I have the other, got this other purple colour, if I can show you guys, this other purple colour um, that I will definitely try out next. But so far, not really liking it because it's super drying. Um, and she's caking up so bad. Like, can you guys see that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try out the other colour. Okay, so a quick update. Um, I usually use the Garnier, my, my, uh, bleh, the Garnier Micilla Cleansing Water with just a normal cotton pad. And look at the way it's coming off. It, it's coming off so weirdly. Like, usually with my other lipsticks, uh, just swiping it and it all, like, comes off. But this one's coming off so chunky. And I think it's because it's so dry. Okay, so I couldn't get all of it off because it really, like, clinged to my dry patches. Uh, I think it's because the formula is literally so drying. But, whatever, I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna try the purplish shade it's upside down the purplish shade in 07 Kendall this one was 01 Kim do I see a Kardashian reference here uh, oh, it's not gonna be able to I can't do what am I doing uh, I can't focus it but this one's 01 Kim and it's the pink Tone. This one's 07, but in Kendall. I'm hoping that this one's not as drying and it's not as cakey looking. It has the exact same doe fur applicator, which uh, I kind of expected since it's in the same packaging as the other one. Let's see how it goes. Okay, well I can tell you. T uh. Okay, well I can tell you straight off the bat that this one applied a lot more um, creamier and still very pigmented, which is surprisingly because it's a purple. Uh, most brands find it very difficult to create purple shades, um, but this one went on perfectly and it's super pigmented. Just gonna wait for uh, that to dry. I don't know if you can see, let me bring it closer. Can you see that it's like beginning to break apart on my inner lip? I think it's going to be exactly like the other one. Ooh, the mirror kind of just made a reflection of light. Um, I think it's going to be exactly like the other one. Um, it doesn't feel as drying, but as... As I do, it feels like it is extremely dry. Um, it makes my lips seem very dry as well. It doesn't... Oh, I've got to show you guys this. I don't know if you guys can see, but... It's, it just makes my lips look all wrinkly and all just very dehydrated. And it's really not... Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really like this formula at all. I know that it's meant to be 
a matte finish but it's it is a matte finish it's not shiny I can tell you that but they're just they're just they're just a pass from me I don't I don't like them I'm probably gonna give them away I don't know I just I just I don't like them I like the color I just don't like them next I'm gonna try the PS Pro kiss proof liquid matte lipstick if I can show you I don't think it's going to want to focus in the shade 02 pink in excess oh I really like the handle of this one it feels a lot more sturdy the doe for applicator is a bit different it's more flat and it caves in I don't know if you can see it. if I hold it like that can you see that it caves in a little uh, which seems to hold a lot more product so Let's see how this one goes. Okay, I can tell you that this one feels a lot better just applying it and I didn't even have to go back into the bottle at all. Literally just one dip and it did everything like you guys saw. Um, this one claims to be ultra long lasting, no transfer film and vitamin E, which uh, I'm just going to let it dry to test the no transfer, but the vitamin E, it does feel extremely hydrating. It doesn't feel as drying as the other ones and I get my mirror. It does not cake up like the other ones when I go. Um, I think this might be my favourite formula because it applied nicely, it is extremely pigmented, just one dip into the bottle and that was all that was needed. Um, it looks great on the lips, let me bring you guys closer, it looks extremely great on the lips, I really love this colour as well, um, I'm not sure how to explain this colour, it's like a grey browny purpley something going on um but it's not too sticky it's a little sticky but it's not completely dry yet i don't think so that's probably why um just gonna let it dry for a little bit longer and i will do the kiss test okay guys so i I think it's all dry and it doesn't stick as much which is great and I'm just gonna see if it passes the kiss test I have a little bit of pink but can you see it looks like uh, it left some of the like oils behind I don't mind this pink bit it's from a uh, previous kiss test but can you kind of see it it's like Okay, let me clean it and try one more time. Okay, so I'm going to try kiss it one more time. Oh, it, it does transfer a little bit. It's not like, too, it literally just looks like the oils that are sitting on top that transfers and a little bit from probably my inner lip. But it's not bad. It's not like other lip, li uh, liquid lipsticks that you kiss and... It literally just all comes off on your hand. That's that's not pretty. So far, really love this. And I think this one was about three pounds and these were two pounds each. Okay, so I can tell you now that the last one was a lot easier to take off than the first two, which I think is because it's not as drying, so it doesn't clump as much to uh, the skin on my lips and like some of the dry patches. So yeah, moving on. Uh, the last one to try is this PS Insta Girl Intense Liquid Lipstick Full Color Satin Finish with Vitamin E Is it gonna wanna focus? Please focus Okay, I don't think it's gonna focus uh, This is the shade Nude Selfie yeah, nude, nude selfie. I'm not sure, but I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, there's like a number written on top of the actual name, which confused me a little bit. 
uh, nude selfie. Uh, claims to be full colour, satin finish with vitamin E. Um, this one also claimed to be full of vitamin E. Uh, so I'm assuming that this one's going to be quite moisturising as well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, right off the bat, like when you take it out, you can tell that this one feels a lot more slippery. And the smell of this one is really like quite strong. It smells like, it smells like paint. Like the things you use to paint your wall. You have the exact same dough for applicator as the last one. Uh, I think it's the same colour, so let's see how it goes. Oh, this one's a lot more watery. It's not as thick. Okay, so just like the last one, this one only needed just one dip and it did for the whole mouth. It was extremely pigmented. It's just this one was a little bit more watery than this one, which I don't mind, I guess. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult to apply because the product tends to spread um, everywhere, but it should be fine. I think the color is exactly the same. Um, I'm not sure if I'm meant to like wait for it to dry down because it's a satin finish so it's it's not any stickier or any less sticky than this one that I showed you guys. The more I do this, the more matte it seems to get. Let me show you. You guys see that? It's not drying and it's definitely not transfer proof, which it didn't claim to be, so can't be mad at it. I actually quite like it though, because it, it's exactly the same as this one. Honestly, I think the colour is exactly the same, um, super pigmented, the Dofa applicator is exactly the same, it's just that this one's a satin and this one's a matte. So I guess it goes down to personal preference, but I think if you go into Primark, don't buy these because they're extremely drying and they look like cake on your face, on your lips. And taking them off is so difficult, they just don't want to come off. Whilst these two, I recommend. I highly recommend these two. It's a shame that these didn't work out for me because I absolutely adore these shades. It's just, they just didn't, they just didn't fit. They didn't, they didn't cut it for me. Definitely recommend, definitely recommend. These are up to personal preference. So if you prefer a matte, get this one. If you prefer a satin uh, finish, get this one. But yeah guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these type of testing videos. And if you like to see more, please comment down below and if you like what you see please subscribe also follow me on instagram it is at essa.beauty i'll leave the link down below and i will leave uh names and prices of all of these in the description down below and yeah guys i hope you guys have a good day wherever you guys are and i hope to see you guys soon bye guys